Good morning, fam. Um, as you guys can see, I am fresh out the shower. Um, I am getting ready because today is a super special day. So, uh, I'm gonna put my ring to charge. Um, start my skincare. So, today is Saturday the 26th or 7th. 27th. Oh my gosh. And I have, well, not even I. There are so many dishes on my vanity because ugh, we're just messy people. So, I'm clearing out some space. Um, and I'm going to start my skincare. Today is a very special day. Let me get started um, with my skincare. Today is a very special day, like I keep saying for like four times already, because we're doing two very fun things. So first thing, actually, let me put my contacts in. Um, first thing that we're doing is we are going to go look at apartments. So me and Mar have scheduled two different apartment viewings today and then one tomorrow um and hopefully you know we can find something that is suitable for the both of us that the both of us like um and then we're gonna go to Southgate which is in LA in LA County um to go look at potential bridesmaids dresses and um, if we find something, then amazing, but if not, we also have a scheduled appointment tomorrow with David's bridal. Um, I've been using the snail mucin that I bought in, like, the last vlog for, like, about two weeks now. Um, I kind of just did some very light research of how you utilize or incorporate it into your routine. Um, and... Come in. Mm-hmm. Marizia oh. la pizza. Just kidding. Oh. oh no. I found it. Oh thank you. You're welcome. Um yeah, and at first it felt like it was super hydrating. But um then I kind of had this like allergic reaction, I think, to eye drops. Oh, um I'm finding it for me. <laughs> if if there's only a little bit left, you can just use it all. Totes my goat's fine. I forgot what I was even saying. But, yeah, so I do like it. I think it's actually pretty hydrating. Um, but, like I said, I'm pretty sure I had an allergic reaction to <sighs> some eye drops that I used. So, my skin around my eyes got really dry. Um, I haven't been drinking as much water as I should be, so... My lips are really dry. Yeah, it was a struggle. Um, but nonetheless, I'm pretty sure it was not the snail mousse and that caused that reaction. I'm like all out of serum, basically. And I don't really know what route I'm gonna go in regards to serum. Let me do under eye cream. Yeah. So, little small updates. Um, Raj has been sick. Her tummy is acting up, so her bowels are like <laughs> uncontrolled. <laughs> And, uh, ugh, that's been really difficult to struggle with because you get home from work and it's just like a disaster, you know? Um, or you're just chillaxing. Disaster. Like, she's really going through it. Um, but it does seem like she's getting better. So, that's a good thing. Another skincare update is <clears throat> I have actually been liking the Caudalie 
products, but I don't feel like they are essential. So I feel like, for example, I'm out of the serum. I don't think I would buy that serum. I just feel like it's very expensive and almost feels gives me the feel that it's like for more mature skin. Like the moisturizer is very thick. Um, so I feel like, although it's good to have them and I've had the experience of trying them out, I will not be going that route for skincare. Okay, so that's it for skincare. I have my contacts in. Skincare's done. I'm gonna start blow drying my hair. Probably just get myself like a small little makeshift blowout. Um, start getting ready. It's nine o'clock, right about nine o'clock, and we're leaving at 9.30. So whatever makeup I do is gonna be very simple, very quick. Um, so I will check in with you guys once we're ready to head out. Okay, guys. We're in the car. Um, this is already the finished makeup look and everything because um, it's actually 10.45 now. So we just had our very first um, apartment viewing. Okay, Mara, what are your thoughts? I thought it was very beautiful, mm -hmm. but the rent was a little over budget. Yes, very much so. Um, so, I feel like we definitely would have to take a look at the website and kind of check out to see if there's even anything in our price point or yeah. what we're willing to compromise or not, you know, because I think for the foreseeable future, it's really just going to be the two of us. Mm -hmm. Um, so we can't, whoops, <laughs> forward a little bit. We can't really, um, count on somebody else's income. So it's just our income. Um, which I do really think that we would get approved for it based off of our income yeah, and, too. you know, My credit good. and stuff. Yeah. But, but it's like... our groceries it's groceries bills. if not definitely would cover gas electricity yeah. probably even internet um so any streaming services we want any, yeah any streaming services so that makes it kind of difficult yes when you put it in that perspective but they were so beautiful yes like, they oh were very God. very like nice. i just cannot so i'm yeah, out of gas it's carpeted so. yeah and it is carpeted but this one actually has the best policy in terms of pets. Yeah. So, um, our doggy Nala, which you guys have met plenty of times, she isn't on the breed restriction um, list. Under the weight limit. Yes, and it has some of, like, the highest weight limit that I've seen in terms of pets. So, yeah, that, I feel like, was definitely... Most enticing. Mm-hmm. They also have... Like parking, like parking wise, I feel like, well, it would be more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but it was nice to consider that they have, you pay extra and you ha can have a garage mm -hmm. and you can put your car in there and then you already have an assigned parking. So that would work perfectly with us, our, two, our cars. two cars. Yeah. And besides the fact that if I get this job, then I'll mainly be working from home, but still it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we have another appointment at... 12 which is in a different city so not too far from here so what we're gonna do is go put some gas and then um go grab a coffee and discuss more yeah discuss more and then go to our next viewing so those are the plans i will see you guys maybe at a coffee shop <laughs>
Okay guys, so yes, we're recording. So, we just finished our second viewing and that's actually our last viewing for the day. Um, Mara, do you wanna share your thoughts first? I... Well, actually, you can even take the camera okay. if you'd like and just share. Okay, so I did not love them, to be completely honest. Um, oops, my hand was in the way, sorry about that. Okay. But, yeah, sorry, lighting is... Shush. There we go, here I am. Shush, come on. Um, I didn't love them. I don't love the area, to be honest. Um, the apartments were very standard. Um, they don't all come with washer and dryer. They have a massive dog deposit fee, and that was just very off-putting. Um, for me, I think the main thing that I didn't like was I didn't love the Look area. Right. Um, which, where are you trying to go? Because okay. this, they both take you home. For me, the main things I didn't love were the area and the dog deposit fee and the not, they didn't have a standard in unit washer and dryer. Oh, and they're just really large complex. Like it's a massive complex. They have like 300 plus units. I'm like, for me, that's just really big. I don't want to live in an area with that many units. Um, I feel like it's everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I feel like the first apartment was just like, like everything that you could have dreamed of. Like it really was like it made your heart flutter. Like you left excited. You really everything. When we got there, there was like no parking for like future residents, you know? So like people who are going to come in and take a tour or whatever, no parking at all. So we had to park on the street. Um, the lady who helped us was really nice and everything, but, um, yeah, she just kind of, in the first place, they gave us our own little folder with all the information. She went over all the kinds, types of units that they have and everything. Um, and it was just, you know, such an experience. And then with this one, she pretty much wrote everything down on her business card. And that was about it. Um, didn't really explain like deposits, how they work, you know, um, nothing like that. So... I didn't kind of ask if we had any questions. It was just very like directed to the point. Um, and also what you didn't mention um, is that they pretty much can only tell you their availability until February, oh, like yeah. the 10th of February. Anything else, they don't, they don't know. You know, they don't know what's gonna be available. They only For have- how much. Yeah, what's available right now. So although we were initially saying February 15th, um, well, what we liked wasn't available, you yeah, know, and so you come and you see something that is available and there's just things that you're not willing to like negotiate with. Yeah, so there was obviously like this misconception already about the wash in unit washer and dryers. And honestly, for the price that they are, it's like you're really just not willing to negotiate that because that's gonna be 12 months of hassle, you know, yes. of every single Weekly week, hassle. 56 weeks and of hassle to, to wash in the, the washing facilities that they have there two dollars per load yeah so it's like mm, yeah better not so actually this one will take us yeah this one so yeah that was one thing right that was off-putting and then um i don't know the patio space just seemed a lot better at the other one um the the rooms in them, in themselves were really nice, but I feel like the other one just seems so much brighter, a much more open concept like area. Much better natural lighting. Yes. So I don't I don't really know. It just didn't feel you know great. Like I just felt like um, I had high expectations when I saw the um, like through online and then seeing the area that it's in, like more mentioned, um, and then. The actual apartments i'm like yeah no this is this is a no you know like for although yes it's about a 200 dollar um price difference it's not worth it for the laundry facility purposes yep. and for compromising your safety in the area so that was definitely a no um and the parking you only get one assigned parking the rest yes. is like first come first yeah, serve figure it out. yeah Big, yeah, figure it that out. you don't have another option or at least from what I understood we don't have another option to like buy an additional parking per month mm -hmm. which with the other one you do which was most likely what we were gonna do right just for need, convenience yeah we would need the garage space anyways yeah. so uh, yeah 
Um, and then, like she mentioned, like Mar already mentioned, the dog deposit was just like out of this world. Yeah. Like, where you were like, absolutely not. Like, I do not care, but I'm not going to put it. was $500 per dog. So we'd have to give a $1,000 deposit. And it was just like, absolutely not. Like, no. No, 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 no. no. Um, and then it's a $50 per month per dog. So that's another. Uh, you, at this point, you're already at $2,100 per month. Yeah. Which for another $100. You get the place that you want. Exactly. You get the place, place that you liked much more. Um, granted, there we do pay $45 a monthly fee for both dogs. But um, for another $100, we can get a garage space. You know, $125. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was just one after another that was just kind of like, no, you this know, this not does not seem. Want. Yeah, it, it was definitely not what we wanted. And it definitely <sighs> seemed less convenient than yes. the other one. So. We do have another viewing, like I mentioned to you guys, tomorrow. Um, and I, yes, I'm, I'm conflicted because actually our older sister Val has already lived at these apartments. So we pretty much know what they look like. Um, they do have in-unit washer and dryers. But again, it's like remembering kind of like what the area is like, what's around there. Um, and also taking into consideration like how... Um, long it's going to take us to get to work and stuff like that because it is a little bit further back yeah. um than the other than the first one that we saw today so oh that's pretty much it i mean obviously as you guys can tell we were really sold by the first one um and so i feel like i would be really content with just putting in deposit in right now like number one number one and we're already sold you know like well we'd have to fingers crossed get approved and then, right start from there yeah. so so we'll see yes right now we are on our way to my mom's house our mom's house sorry hey you know i, I understand people feel uncomfortable <laughs> let me say my mom yeah our I mom's house mom. uh, to pick her up so we can go to southgate and check out all the trusses that they have available there so i will probably we're gonna continue chit-chatting drink our coffees and i will talk to you guys Okay, guys, so we are West Hollywood? Yes. We're in West Hollywood right now. We're going to go to Earth Cafe. Um, I didn't vlog at all in Southgate, which is the Huntington Park area. Here we go. This, this part of the video is going to be really blurry, and I apologize in advance. But um, pretty much because a lot of the places don't let you um, record in there, so... Um, we got kind of a good idea of what places we're going to scope out next week because next week we're coming with our mom and our other sister. Um, and tomorrow we have the David's Bridal one. So a David's Bridal, I feel like maybe I can record, but if not, I will record what I can. Um, and we kind of have an idea of like what we're going to be looking for. So I'm excited to try on dresses tomorrow, but me and Mar just kind of were like, let's get Earth. We haven't had Earth in a years. majillion years. Yeah. Yeah. There she is. She's oh, I was looking. <laughs> I in a trance. In a majillion years, and we were both craving it. So, we just got parking, and now we're going to go ahead in there and get some lunch. More like breakfast, because we literally didn't eat hardly anything today. So, see you inside. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this
this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey So, it's been a whole day um, I hope you guys enjoyed me walking Raja this morning and then also making myself breakfast and joining my Bobby. So good. Um, but we are now at J David's Bridal. So I literally didn't film anything yesterday at Huntington Park because it's kind of hard to film with people kind of walking around. But I will insert a picture of a dress that we saw that was like really pretty. They had really great stuff. So we're going back next weekend um, with our mom and maybe our sister. I don't know. To actually go and see stuff. But right now we're at David's Bridal. But... Also, uh, me and Mar decided to go to Earth Cafe, so again, I didn't record anything, and I'm so sorry, but it literally just triggered, like, a whole two hours worth of us, you know, chit-chatting and talking and, like, pretty much, like, therapy, um, and I will insert a picture of what I took of our meals, which is got chicken quesadillas and lemonade, matcha, um, and another latte, like, so good, a cheesecake, love it. The vibes are always just immaculate there, but anyways, so, and then we just went home and spent um, time with our niece and our mom and our sister um, But now we are at David's bridal. So it's the appointment that I told you guys yesterday um, So we're gonna go I'll do my best to record what I can but let's go try on some dresses Guys and girls, we're back in the car. So, um, as you guys saw from the footage, dry shopping actually went amazing, which is very ironic. So, let me pan to more as well. One sec. Did absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, dry shopping went really well. Um, the thing is, I had like no expectations at all for dress shopping. I was just like, let's go get the experience we want to experience and leave, you know? Um, and I really thought that Huntington Park was going to be it for us, which was actually just going to be very chaotic because when I tell you that like, they have everything that you can literally imagine, like catalogs full of dresses, you know, that they can order two, three week turnaround, whatever it may be. They have it, you know, so I feel like I went in just not expecting to find anything. I don't know how you went in. Yeah, just going just to try dresses on. Mm -hmm. I went, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, and very surprisingly, they had a pretty decent selection. Um, Mars, the one who found her dress first, you know, and then I tried on the same dress um, as like my last, one of my last resorts, um, and not last resorts, but like the last on the rack, um, of dresses that I was going to try on, and, um, it fit really, really well, so 
we're in love you know um so we went ahead and we bought our dresses they should come by the end of february and then we'll have alterations and we should be good to have our dresses you know by march mid-march you know so that's really amazing and really exciting um and then because it's near a mall we came to the mall afterwards and we were just walking around got ourselves a nice little coffee i'll probably have to insert mars picture because i didn't take no fucking videos of nothing so she did a picture for her um instagram story and yummy honey vanilla no honey lavender lattes yes. oh, so good um and then we just went to pottery barn william sonoma like all these places you know went to macy's um actually my sunglasses that i just got that i showed you guys a while ago my gucci's they're really tight from up here so i actually went to sunglasses hut and they stretched them just the slightest bit so they fit a little bit better um it's amazing i really i really thoroughly enjoyed buying my, sun, my sunglasses from sunglasses hut um and then we went to la satane which i guess i'll just insert it i'm like should i can you see the bag? The brown bag? It's my uh, Seattle bag like everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or whatever. You know, yeah. wherever she got it from. So we went to L'Occitane because we were going to put together some bachelorette party goodies. Um, and so they were nice enough to gift us some envelopes and um, little stickers so we can put them together. But anyways, we got the almond cream. Um, I don't think it's in there. It is. Um, little travel size hand creams. La Loxitan is really, really popular right now on TikTok, but it is a very old, um, like body care, um, kind of company. So, um, the videos that I've seen personally are about like people who have aged very gracefully and what they've been doing and a lot of them swear by L'Occitan um, hand cream. So we got that one. Um, it was a deal for like six for 65. So we got that. Um, sorry. So which means each one was like what? Like $11? Yeah. Something I think like pretty that. much essentially you saved like a free one. You got like a free one. Um, yeah. So we got that and... Um, we're just jotting down a list of like all these other things that we can possibly add to the um, Just little goodie bag that we're gonna get um, and then also, you know discussing ideas of like where we can go and stuff like that But now It's 6 p.m. So I don't even know and I'm hungry. Yeah What exactly our plan is or where we're headed to now? Um, Cuz at home they were just watching football the whole day, so You know probably a bunch of people there that you're just like I just don't want to go home to this you know so we're definitely gonna figure out what we're gonna do next what our next move is and then go from there so I will see you guys later Okay guys, so it's a couple days later and I completely forgot to close out the vlog that night. Um, we were just pretty busy, but I will say, so <sighs> closing out the vlog and a little update. Um, we did end up applying for that first apartment. Um, fingers crossed that we'll get it. Um, however, um, wow. we I also have scheduled another, <laughs> I've also scheduled another um, viewing for one more as of right now i'm probably going to schedule just another one um for this next saturday just in case things don't um go through with the first one um i don't think i even mentioned our sunday appointment we didn't go to just because um our sister has already lived there so we know what they look like um and it's just not the area that we want to live in you know so it was kind of very similar to like the um second one that we view that we talked about that just like the area wasn't it you know so these next two are kind of in the same area as the first one so you know a little bit more promising um after the dress fitting we scheduled oh we got the dresses um it would have been the last dress that i showed you but then i can also insert footage if i have it of marisol wearing it because um she did 
actually get it. She tried it on in like pretty much like her size and the exact color. So I will insert that. So we bought the dresses and then um, we also scheduled our alterations. So all of that should be February, March. Um, what else? Then obviously I inserted footage of us at in and out um just kind of you know being on our computers and stuff like that but yeah that was pretty much it after that we just came home just wind wound down and got ready for the next week so that was pretty much it um you know in the next vlog hopefully i will keep you guys posted on what's happening with um new updates about the apartments and stuff like that um and you know eventually we are <laughs> we have to settle on a place so um, eventually a moving series so that will be super cool so yeah that's it for this weekend's vlog thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and all these fun things that me and mar were up to um and if you like the content make sure to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye